Hey and welcome back to another video. Part of my job at Drive Tribe is to help create content for all of our social channels and this often means I get to spend time with people like Clarkson, Hammond and May. This was the case last week when Mike told me he was creating a video on the discovery of Jeremy's Lancia and James' Mercedes from the Botswana Top Gear special. He asked me if I could get James to answer a few questions about his car and what it was like filming in Botswana. Of course, James said yes so we jumped on a Zoom call and I asked him some questions. But unfortunately, as is really often the case, not all the answers made it into the final video, which which is live on Drive Tribe right now, so you can go watch it if you haven't already. So I thought I'd get the questions that didn't make it and put them in a video for my channel, along with a few of the other things that we spoke about while we were on the call. Hello. Hello. Have you chosen your angle for your phone? Yes, it's just over there. Okay, so when you answer the questions, look at the phone lens, not at me. That's going to be difficult. Why? because my natural inclination is to look at the person I'm talking to. Shall I set it going? Yeah. I'll try not to do a Rachel and just make a film of my eyeball. Can you just show me your shot so we can make sure we've got it? That's my iPhone shot over the computer. There's a tiny bit of computer on the bottom, but you can, you can crop that out, can't you? It's got my face in. Yep, all good. Rachel? Um, I may have had... A bit of a mare here. Why? Um, I seem to have somehow zoomed in, and this is my entire shot for the whole video. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't know how I've done this. <laughs> You're the only person in the world who can't film something with your phone. I know. <laughs> Show me again, what is this? You should have filmed your eyeball. <laughs> okay. Did you camp the whole time? We camped the whole time. We don't really get much choice. Um, you know, if you're out on the Makadi Caddy or something, there's there aren't really any hotels. So, yeah, I mean, we had a, I, you'd call it glamping now. I'm not sure the word had been invented then but they were quite posh tents and um, you had things like a canvas hand basin to have a washing in the morning. But there you go. If you put that in your own home, you'd think you were living in a slum, wouldn't you? That's what camping is. And you didn't have to share a tent with Clarkson? I didn't have to share a tent with Clarkson, no, which was, I mean, I hadn't yet shared a tent with him at that point, so I didn't realise how horrific that was. But nevertheless, no, I had my own tent and it was a it was like an army tent it wasn't a triangular tent it was more like i think it's called a bell tent you know with a central pole and then it's shaped like that it's quite nice cool. i think that's all the questions <laughs> that was easy wasn't it yes well, of course it was someone should get the car in botswana and do that idea you had um i think it was on the toy stories or 20th century cars where you like make it into like a you cover it in plexiglass or big stuff Yes, that was actually originally a column that I did about, yes, about leaving historic cars as public monuments in Isopon. I've always wanted to do that with a car. I think it would be brilliant. Oh, I thought you'd done it on your shows. It must be. No, it's, well, it's quite difficult to do and very expensive. Yeah. Plus, you'd have to get somebody to agree to have a car and a, effectively a big ice cube outside their office or on their plinth. They should um, make that into like the extreme, they should have extreme levels of parking fines. And like after your car's been clamped a few times, like after five clamps, it then gets put there forever. Okay. <laughs> I'm kind of thinking I might fancy a Tesla Model 3. I'm wondering, should I save up for a Tesla Model 3? I thought you were saving up for a house. I am. But I look, it looks like I'm not going to be going anywhere for a while because of COVID. I don't see much point being in London at the moment in like a little small flat. I mean, I think Model, Model 3 would be great. I'm just a bit worried about you throwing away a load of money after you've saved up so hard to buy a house. That's true. You already have a car. Yeah, Mini Cooper S. So... Not worth it? To be honest, probably not. Okay. Moment of madness over, I won't get a Model 3. Okay, you can always have a go in mine or borrow a press car. Um, before you go really quickly, in case I do cut together some of the Botswana stuff for my channel, do you fancy 
giving a little call to action for my subscribers. Yeah, there's a, there's a fee though. Of? 30 quid. It's a lot of money. How about yeah. I... A cheeseburger, yes. Yeah. Hey kids, this is Lucy's channel. Why not like, comment, <laughs>